Okay, thought of the week. It's about HMOs today, and in particular, the best place to buy an HMO. And um, I think that we, as a company, me personally, have got a slightly different take on this to most people um, who have, have initially. So we meet people and they say, what about this, this, this? And uh, actually we do things ever slightly different. It's not quite what you think straight away. Um, the reason it's the thought of the week today is we did a webinar last, um, oh God, it's peeing it now. If you love your dog, go on, wait. Uh, <laughs> gotta go walking in all weathers. This is how I do this um, recording all weathers on a dog walk, so. Um, <laughs> it's peeing it down. Um, yeah, we did a webinar last Friday um, called How to Build uh, an HMO from Scratch. Went down really well. Uh, I think we had something like 80, 90 people on it, um, which was a lot for us. I know, I know some people have webinars with thousands of people on it, but a little older us, we don't. Um, but that's a lot for us, very engaged. We all stayed to the end and it was great. Actually, at the end of this video, and don't skip to the end, <coughs> excuse me, don't skip to the end. I'll, there's a bit of a giveaway at the end of this uh, video. I'll, um, uh, yeah, I'll give you some tools and tips and a few downloads. I think they'll be useful. Um, yeah, so we did this webinar, how to build it from scratch, and it was all about you know, exactly what to find, how to build it, um, rules, regulations, schedule of works, all sorts of stuff um, that you need to build it. But obviously we didn't cover much about where's best to put it, where, where best. Um, and the thing that I noticed, the first thing that sort of immediately springs to people's minds when they're talking about HMOs, or the first thing about HMOs is, Big city, um, right in the middle, probably the first, maybe not always, but probably often, um, students, they went into students. And we're almost exactly the opposite of that and, 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 and have done. And I think we've got the edge. Um, I'll tell you why. So, big city. So we, I, I live in Nottingham. Also, I'm not living in Nottingham, um, but my nearest city is Nottingham. Um, so you'd think, I know, Nottingham, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, Liverpool, Sheffield. Now, those places are expensive, um, particularly if you're in the, the middle, particularly because everybody wants an HMO and they, their immediate thought is, I'm gonna go for an HMO in the city centre or whatever. So there's a lot of competition. So I'll put some numbers around it. Typically in Nottingham, a house in the middle that you'd say this is gonna be a student HMO, might be 300, 350,000 pounds, then you've got to convert it. Now, finding the house is harder. <coughs> There's possibly, and there is in Sheffield, there is in Nottingham, I don't know the other areas I mentioned, I think actually there is in most of those areas. There's Article 4, <coughs> so you're up against the planning permission. That's an added complication. Sometimes you just can't get it, so yeah, it's a non-starter. There's also a lot of competition, uh, not just to buy it, but to rent it. When you talk about students, uh, and it happened in Nottingham, lots of landlords who just had student HMOs really, really felt the pinch when, because they, were, they weren't lovely student HMOs that they had put together and they'd had them through the, probably through the 70s, 80s and 90s. Um, so they're a bit run down. But when the purpose-built student accommodation comes along, it really knocks those guys for six, you know? So where was I? I was saying it knocks those guys to six. The guys that, um, uh, my son just called me, he, is, uh, he interrupted, he's, uh, he's at rugby. Uh, he just let me know that they won, so. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it knocks those guys for six. Um, lots of competition, even if, and there's loads of these as well, you know, you bought, bought the nice HMO, you've done it nice, you really are competing well with the purpose-built stupid student accommodation. Still, why, 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 why compete? You know, there's a lot of lot of competition. They do it really well. They've got massive marketing. Um, you know, it just seems like a seems like an obvious thing to do. You end up with a nice product. You've got this city centre, nice thing, and uh, it probably probably work okay. But for us, there's something that works even better. <coughs> we go to the slightly less obvious areas. Um, we've done yeah let's say it's not Sheffield it's Rotherham it's not a hole it's oh hold that hold, hold, hold might work actually but um, places near Grimsby and around there work really really well Derby not Nottingham reason being um the houses are a lot lot cheaper um we still do a really good job of the house I think 
these days it just has to be um, we call it a, a premium spec now it's not gold plated taps and marble bathrooms but it is a really nice spec um, so they rent out really well we get good rents and actually if you think about it we just rent to um, working people and there's a lot a lot of them and in the areas we're talking about I won't say they're deprived areas or run down areas. We always go for somewhere that's um, on the up, if you like, it's regenerating. Grimsby is a great example of that. It's, it's um, got loads of money going into it. <coughs> I was born in Grimsby, so I'm a bit, a bit biased, but, uh, and there's loads of examples of other places. Um, it's just that Grimsby seems to be one of the ones at the moment where we're really, um, we're really finding some good stuff. <laughs> Come on, Come on bye. Yeah. Um, So, yeah. The tenant profile is the hard workers, you know. Um, it is, it's the kind of house or uh, property they want to live in, um, or they can afford to live in. So you always rent them out well. They rent out at a high rent uh, amount. But when you compare it to what you pay for the property, and for example, we'd be paying 150 to 175,000 pounds for the property, rather than 300 or 350,000 pounds of property, but the rents per room are broadly similar. Similar, they might be 50 quid less, um, but sometimes not actually. Sometimes not. You've got a slightly less demanding kind of tenant, you know, they're not there all day, they're, they're um, not using the place, they're, they're out of work. Whereas a tenant, uh, sorry, a student will generally speaking buggy morning, do no, 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 you know, lost my keys. What's this? What's that? They have a party at night. The trash, the place. It's, you know, they, they live there full time, and uh, you know when they're not at um, lessons. Oh, come on, I need to come out. Come on, come on. Come on. Um, when they're not in lessons, they're uh, or lectures. They're um, they're in, in the HMO. So for us, those what do you call it? Offbeat areas, working areas, working class areas. The areas where people actually, you know, living in an HMO is. I, I, I was in uh, two of ours a couple of weeks ago and, you know, at uh, upper six in the morning. I was there at upper six in the morning as well. I had to be a surveyor. Um, I actually had to beat the traffic. The traffic was not one of those ones where you have to get up early, otherwise it, you'd never get there. Um, yeah, everybody's gone. Everybody's out. <laughs> uh, they're all, all gone for work, ridden off on their bikes. Never, ever had a void in that place. Obviously, people have turned, people, people have gone, but, you know, a couple of days, in and out, in and out. It's never been empty. And uh, there's always a queue of people waiting when a room comes comes empty. And it's it's not in a city centre area. Uh, the rooms rent for £575 each. It's just really nice and simple to look after that kind of property. The tenants rarely call us for, for issues. They look after themselves. Um, it's our preferred kind of HMO. Anyway, that's, that's a little bit. Let, let us know what you think. You might be uh, completely diametrically opposed to me. You want the... The shiny city centre student student flat, and if you talk about um, uh, service accommodation or anything like that, then it's the same thing, isn't it? You know, people sometimes say to us at the moment, "Oh, I want service accommodation." Well, it's just the way you rent it out. The actual building itself is quite often very similar when you're talking about HMO rooms. So, uh, I promise you a little bit of a giveaway. Um, if you click on the link in the uh, the description, it'll take you to a page where you can get, uh, what did we actually give away? Let me see if I can remember. There's a lot of stuff. We did this webinar and there was a schedule of works. Uh, there was a, um, a viewing sheet. When I say schedule of works, I mean um, an example schedule of works. So you can see how we write it out for the builder to so get it done. There's also a um, cost of works calculator. So it'll tell you how much you should be paying for a kitchen or bathroom to overboard the ceilings, how much you should pay for a fire alarm system on all those things. There was quite a few other things in there as well. Um, oh, there was all the rules and regs. There was a um, yeah, tick sheet of all the, the rules that you've got to go by and how to get a license and stuff like that. Um, there was also, um, well, there's a webinar now itself. We'll put a link into the webinar itself so you can watch that. That's the how to build a webinar from scratch. But then I did a three part video series in two different HMOs, I think from memory, um, where I went into one that was you know, being built and pointed out, this is what we're doing here. This is how we've got an ensuite in this space. Um, and then also went into one that was finished and pointed out, you know, loads of little practical stuff like this is this is how we um, lock the uh, boiler cupboard away this is how we put a humidity sensing um, th 
thermostat, um, um, extractor fan and where we put them. All little things like that, they'll be really useful. So click the link, download it all. Uh, hopefully one or two of you will put an HMO together and think of us if you need a letting agent. If any of you want us to put an HMO together for you, we're the UK's number one property sourcer, of course. Um, you can go on our website, start the customer journey. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll include a link somewhere saying uh, book a call with us and that, that starts the customer journey if anybody's interested in that. I think generally people know where to get a hold of us now. So uh, yeah, that's all for me. Just a bit about HMOs. Um, people are thinking more about HMOs now, I think, because they're looking for more yield. Interest rate is what they are. And interest rates on HMOs are the same as they always have been now. Like, you know, they, were not, they, they definitely peaked. Um, you'll pay a tiny bit more on the fees to start off with but just factor that in the cost of build really you know it's not it's not even the price of a an ensuite bathroom is it half of that um so yeah fact, factor that in get it get it refinanced out and then the actual pay rate is um broadly similar to how it's ever been now so they work they work really well particularly if you get them in the right place anyway that's it for me i'll uh, go back inside and warm up